So how's it going guys? This is Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So I do not know why these things happen, but these events keep happening around me. I was actually like sending my film negatives that I shot at a different location off to Cham Camera actually. And while I was actually having it processed there for about an hour or so, I looked on the right side of the counter and they were selling this what I call sort of like mystery box made by Konica Minolta and right now as of 2023 Konica Minolta is actually doing this sort of like limited edition 150 year anniversary miniature collection and I thought it would be nice to like mention it on my channel because no one is talking about this unfortunately so I thought it would be neat to sort of like present to you guys and interesting enough they were selling this for 300 not 300 uh 550 yen in japan so that's like three dollars and 60 cents which is insane and if you guys know about japan we have gachapon where you stick in money when you turn the lever a prize comes out but you don't know until you open it uh similar concept there's a box version to that and for larger like products and stuff like that and konica minota this time they made this sort of like box actually of this sort of like miniature collection that they made in the past cameras that they made in the past so the prizes include like a minolta a7000 uh a konica disposable camera mini uh film camera with a film slide type of item and also sort of like another mini with an album version and last but not least you could also win a konica c35 ef which is really nice in my opinion and sort of like a little bit of history for you guys because I don't know much about Konica Minolta. I actually digged in for you guys. Konica Minolta is basically two companies that sort of like merged together. And Konica has a richer history. They have like they were they were founded back in 1837, if I'm right. And so the Konica themselves actually started their business in film negatives. Unfortunately, to say they don't sell it anymore, but they started making film negatives for 35 and also 12. 220 sub medium format and they had a dedicated brand called sakura color unfortunately they don't sell it anymore and sakura-color and as time rolled off, they actually started selling cameras and their no most notable camera was actually the C35 that I currently own. I own the original version actually. They also created the EF version which is actually being enclosed in this box. Uh, the EF is sort of like a newer version where it has a flash integrated to the system. On the other hand, Minolta was actually, I don't know much about Minolta but as of 2023, they make a lot of planetariums and they have expertise in sort of like making optical, I guess, glass and fusing them together to make a 360 degree sort of like planetarium. I don't know the physics because I failed it, but as time rolled on, they also went into the camera business and they made a notable camera, the Minolta A7000 camera, which was sort of like a this not a disposable, uh, sort of like a interchangeable SLR type of film camera, if I'm right, with autofocus. But same, similar to I think Konica, they sort of, sort of like went out of business when things start to go into the wake up from range, not range finder, but towards the SLRs where Nikon and Canon was starting to pick up pace. And I think in 2003 or so they sort of merged together Konica and Minolta merged together to become a company called Konica Minolta basic knowledge the larger company in Japan is actually comes first the smaller company comes after the second so Konica's business is larger than Minolta's business unfortunately and also unfortunately to say to you guys I think in 2006 the camera division was actually sold off spun out and was sold to Sony unfortunately to say and Sony and this is actually I'm gonna go a little bit off topic unfortunately but this is going to be educational for both film and I guess digital users but people because I'm a professional I get asked so much questions regarding Sony saying why is Sony so good at mirrorless cameras as of 2023 they're not a camera company and I keep saying to them 
Sony is unfortunately not a camera company, but right now, the camera divisions of Konica and Minolta, which made the film cameras and film negatives back in the days, they got incorporated into the Alpha system, the Sony's camera division. So the engineers actually work, who used to work in Konica Minolta, now work in Sony. And people don't know that, and people don't know about Konica Minolta and what kind of cameras they made. But I have to, and I actually had to give them that context that companies that camera companies that have the rich history in making film cameras and also film negatives are actually doing really well in as of 2023 in the mirrorless field same for sony they're doing they're like crushing nikon and canon and fuji films actually catching up with nikon and canon actually so i guess that's an also I'm going a little bit off topic again. DJI is doing really well because they incorporated Hasselblad into their system. They purchased Hasselblad, which makes like medium format cameras and also sensors and stuff. So I went off topic too much, but yeah. Going on to topic, uh, this Konica Minota's miniature collection. I basically purchased two because I wanted the Konica's C35 EF because it's like what I want actually because I own a C35 and interesting enough what I got from the box is I actually got the disposable mini uh, camera the miniature version with the album and what's nice about this sort of like mini with the Konica album is the album itself there's actually these tiny like what you call like index prints within the album which is like insane Japanese people are really good at making miniature stuff at realistic levels of precision and and last but not least on the second box i actually got a c35 ef one out of four possibilities and i got the ef c35 and it was like yeah, kind of so i actually forgot to mention like what you will get from this box like it's like one out of four possibilities you get four products and within that four products you will get just one randomly and number one is you might get a Minolta A7000 with a sort of like a kit lens actually which is like actually removable which is neat actually I wish I had that <laughs> and the option two that you might get is that mini disposable camera and this option comes with a sort of like a film negative slide where the negative itself we can actually pull out from the side which is also neat and the option th four, uh, option three is actually the exact same mini disposable camera, but you get the album with index prints inside, and this is what I got. And last but not least is the Konica C35 EF, and this is act this is what I got. And what's neat about this, I forgot to mention, is that the internal white call film cartridge you can actually remove it, and also the winder itself you can actually wind it not physically wind the film negatives from the left to the right but you can actually wind the lever which is neat and i was like surprised by the like, you know, high precision that they made this product for the price and the c35 ef the ef is basically this i guess this is like the second or third alliteration of the c35 that this time around they sort of like firstly incorporated the flash technology within the camera and i guess during this period of time a lot of cameras were starting to incorporate flash into the camera because we all know these types of what we call point and shoots when you when it gets darker you get worse image quality so to compensate people wanted to use a flash but back in the days flash was dangerous <laughs> you know it could blow up but as the technology progressed companies were able to incorporate a safe flash into the camera system there you have it on my coverage of the Konica's Minolta's 150 years miniature collection although this video is not being sponsored by Konica Minolta or anything I purchased everything with my hard-earned cash <laughs> uh, I would like to say my congratulations to Konica Minolta for uh, surviving 150 years I mean 1837 oh, my grandfather's not being born back then unfortunately but it's like really interesting to see companies that although they are doing completely different things as of now i think konika minota right now are becoming like ibm they're doing like office solution it solution kind of stuff but by like producing these types of products it kind of makes us remember like oh because konika 
Minolta existed, there wouldn't be a Sony, you know? Sony wouldn't do so well in the camera business in the digital field. And the engineers that made a lot of historical cameras back in the days paved that way in the photography, you know, history. So it's actually great seeing the companies like this remake their like products in a miniature fashion and making it collectibles. And also the amount of precision you can like get from these miniature products is insane actually so yeah and also I, I would be like really happy if they could like sort of recreate that sakura color 400 film stock i mean it would be a joy if that kind of pops back as of 2023 or maybe in the future years to come i mean a lot of people will love to see that film stock come back and i wish i had the opportunity to shoot it but i never had so yeah and i'm also happy to receive the c35 EF miniature version. I mean, that's like one of the things I wanted, <laughs> but I must have been like really lucky to get that. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I'm happy to reply. And yeah, that's basically it. We will see you next time. Peace out.